Good. Things are looking good indeed. Fighting a large siege. Only thing I'm worried about is my manpower. That's really everything. Kill who? Oh. My horde swarms into the holding of Vankta as the walls crumble and fall. They are intent on plundering but won't go ahead unless you, their Kargan, give them permission to do so. Well, I would say... Bring back the spoils to me and we will divide them between us. Which... Okay, I'm going to hold here for a moment because this is probably one of the most historically accurate events in this game when it comes to... Nomads, at least, because um, despite the image of the step hordes being barbarians or anything, they actually weren't. They were really, really disciplined and they used almost everything. They could find not just goods, but also people and ideas, which made them so effective because they incorporated. Uh, siege engineers from China into their armies, making them basically unstoppable because they knew what they were doing. They weren't just some barbarians on horses. Uh, the Mongol Empire is really, really fascinating. I just everyone look into it at some point. And this is really cool because that is how, even before the Mongols rose, how steppes usually operated. They didn't just go in and rape and pillage and, and destroy. No, no. Instead, they did go in they get everything out that is worth anything, and then they divide it, and then everyone gets a share. And I think that's really fascinating, actually. So that is what we shall do. Um, we're going to off upset a few people over there, but that's not our, not our issue. It's also really curious because it gives us tech points. Random, very few, but it gives us tech points. And I think that's really fascinating, too, that they included that little bid. In there. I enjoy that. I don't know what my allies are doing though. They're mainly sitting around. That's a bit weird. Why are we at war with these guys? Are we at war with these guys? Oh, they joined them. Okay. Yeah, we want to build a garden with a hedge maze. As... A nomadic. No. No. There's not enough time for that in the world. Okay, these are almost done. And we'll have... Right now we have 320 garrison. How much will we have once it's done? 441. So the next upgrade should give us enough to at least prevent someone who has just 500 to take our capital. Which is nice. But for now we're going to keep building cheapish things. And kind of everything. Population growth plus 3%. Let's do that. That's, that's worthwhile. All of these are going to be built. Since we're already doing really well on money as it is, anyway. How much comes from where, anyhow? Nomadic tax, city tax. So the city tax is actually really important. Us. Which means having at least one or two vassals who pay us a tribute would be quite sensible. Somewhere in the back here. Well, we don't need to farm land. Ah, let's finish the siege before we finish the war. We'll get a little bit more gold out of that. And our enemies are not looking like they're coming anywhere. Let's do it now. There we go. <sighs> Taking everything. 
Let's take even more by pillaging all of this. Throwing it fully. Um, give this guy here. This guy wants also land. Let's see how many troops can you field currently. 1750, that's not bad. Pretty damn good, and given how ineffective my allies are. Should be careful. Not to overstretch. I mean, we could whittle him down. Probably. Should go fight these guys. They're pretty damn weak right now. And before Kazaria gets a chance to cut us off from moving this direction as well. So while our troops move over there, they shall have a wee bit of a respite. Oop. Would Tibet maybe like to have an alliance by now? Ah. I don't think we even have a non-aggression pact with them anymore. Check if there's anyone willing. All these smaller guys. Let's. We'll take all the alliances we can get. Even though... Don't do all that much for us so far. But even a smaller clan can be a sensible ally. They're not even that small. Well, they are, militarily speaking. Ah. Our little coin scheme has been uncovered, so we lose prestige over it. Well, that's okay. Let's get our overseer to help build more quickly. Also, we should get here. Kind of like that. You need to be really careful once this runs out that Kazaria doesn't take over. Doesn't matter. Armor should be compensated. And the Khan approves of our decision anyway. So. These are our allies, he has no one. Very good, the looting is done. Everything looted? So we can get. This guy, this area, oh we can go to war to free the captives, I've never seen this option, I like that, that is that is really cool cause for war, sadly that's not what we're gonna do, so let's get everyone involved, Wait. Clans. The visor is gone. Our general be our advisor. We're not going to call in this ally. Because that would be foolish. Allies can only be called in so often, so it's not the best idea to do that when you don't really need it. Allies are best called in defensively, not offensively. 
Tributes. You can do it. Vassals, no matter. They will join. So they're fighting in a desert. Which makes them quite formidable. But we have the number advantage. By a large margin. Giving us the edge, ultimately. It's just 140, we can take it immediately. Problem there. Now we go take this piece. And I say we tell our allies to go hunt the enemy. Maybe these guys fight then. Ooh. Let's wait until he's locked into his movement and then turn straight around attack him. Stop trying to plot, boy. Oh wow, he's he's a good guy. Quite strong. Not strong enough in this case. How many troops do we have here? Nothing. Right. There we go. That was now. Now, of course, our allies are, or our clans are like, hey, you, I need more land. So we shall give them more land. Unless, of course, we wait a little, get some more down here, and give this away, which would be more sensible. Hmm. <laughs> I need to build. To build first. A horse breeder. Let's go for morale of armies. giving you that money for a child. She's not doing anything for me anyway. Oh, we have a truce with them still, so we can't expand this direction. So the clans do want more land. Fine by me. We are now large enough to have support for three clans within our land. Nice. How large is our retinue? Yeah, let's give him money. Yes, let's worship the ancestors. More board sword in battle. Let us offer someone. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's choose a war horse because we haven't done that yet. It costs us a little bit of money. But it's good for us to have that because it gives us prestige. And I feel like Sky. Now, this is important because the Sky in Asian cultures, both the Mongol and the Chinese, has been really important. 
Uh, it's almost a deity. The will of the sky is something to adhere to and to look forward to, uh, or rather towards it. So let's have our horse be named Sky. That's good. Let's find a smith. Why not? I think we can, can do with a little bit of jewels. We have the money. It should be fine. What does war games do for us? Maybe something. Let's compose a book too. Let's do all the things that cost money. And we shall be writing about managing a realm. And we should have war games as well. Ending all the invitations. Maybe our manpower will get a little bit of rest now. I could do a few more or less warlike activities. Really strong. Or how large he is. Or rather small. Oh, Kazaria is not even going to join if I attack him here. What are you? Just a tributary. How many troops you got? Oh. A lot. If he calls in his allies and vassals. Let's change to something right now. Let the best warrior sh win. And Pulad is my commander and a worthy winner. Let's get a famous goldsmith to our court. And we will get something for the indisputable might of our house. Because there's also some loot to be had down here. Oh, very good. We've received a report of the outcome of the military experiments that my marshal asked me to sponsor. Apparently, a new kind of self-propelled arrow was tried. Arrow, not arrow, was tried out based on Far Eastern models, which we are kind of Far Eastern. Lit by fire, these arrows would scream and fly away, leaving a trail of smoke and then explode on impact, killing several of livestock used as practice targets. Well, so we basically have missiles now. Apparently something good to have. Well, let's have the man have his joy with his lover. I don't care enough. I could release and attack him. Are you fighting? Fighting anyone? I could go and pledge him, but he has nothing. He's the best target out there. He has so many troops. The goldsmith has informed us that they have been located in a nearby province. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll take what we originally want because we don't have the money. Not yet, anyway. We'll need to build things. Very good. Oh wow, okay, we didn't even just get one thing. 
As I'm waiting in my throne when I finally touch... Well, I got a axe of the ancestor and a hero's crown. That's cool. Oh, it's actually both a pretty alright quality too. Quality 3, that's... That's not bad. Not bad at all. That is not shabby. I'm liking this. Mainly improves opinions, but that's okay. Who are you fighting? Kipchak conquest of something. Let's offer to join him or not. Who is currently winning? Okay, our manpower is also replenishing now, surely. How many ships do we have at the end of the day? 950. But our Shibitary is fighting right now. He's not in an ideal state to f help me. Our truce is expiring anyway, so we can just attack to the south then. Let's get our troops in position. And take care of that next time round. Haven't been looking after my children at all. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh well. 